Hey everyone, thanks again for joining us on another episode of It Starts With Plastic Free. If you haven't yet subscribed to this program, please do so and join in the comments. But Corey, how are we? Good mate, yourself? Very good. And today we're talking about plastic in drink water bottles. Yeah, well I was good until I started reading about this stuff and I think my wife has been telling me for quite a while, do not drink out of plastic water bottles, Corey. The proof isn't there, but it can't be good. And well, uh, I think I think she's right when reading this stuff. Let's let's believe Sal on this one. And yeah. uh, I, I agree with you because having my background in polymers and plastics, it is uh, quite frightening of when you understand what's what chemicals used to make plastics, but go into what you found, because that's a really interesting study, yep. and one that a lot of people, including mums with young babies, should be aware of, which I'll go into. I'll try and read it without the glasses today, uh, Phil. Go on, go for it. The eyes are getting better now. <laughs> um, so this was published in a journal of hazardous materials recently, a study from the University of Copenhagen. They researched um, on soft and squeezy drink bottles, reusable drink bottles, what sort of chemicals were left in the water um, after 24 hours. So what they did was they had new and heavily used drink bottles. They filled it with ordinary tap water. They let it rest for 24 hours. Um, they tested it before and uh, they put the water in before and after being put into a dishwasher uh, and then checked it and to see what was what was in the, what, what in the resulting found? water. And what was found? Well, this is where it, it's pretty ugly. Just So just reading some of this stuff, um, the most toxic substances they identified came from the ones that had been in the dishwasher. Mm-hmm. So presumably because washing uh, the drink bottles wears down the plastic on the inside and increases leaching. Um, the scientists found more than 400 different substances in the water that came from the plastic material and more than three and a half thousand substances from the dishwasher, so. And they're all the, I'm guessing, a lot of the carcinogens and endocrine type of chemicals that are impacting human health. I just, yeah, exactly, and they list all of that and say, well, yeah, again, there's so much unknown about what are these doing to human health. And it comes back to our whole, you know, our mantra about plastic, but there are options, you know. So when I talk about mums and, I'm thinking about baby bottles, you know, even with, yep. you've got drink milk bottles that you heat up and then you put that plastic bottle in the dishwasher and what's coming out for a young baby and yep. what they're ingesting early on. But you know, old school days, we had glasses yep. and um, glass bottles, etc. and we don't go that way anymore. You know, this has been this whole convenience factor. And even though we've got a lot of health conscious people and we've got them in our offices with these bottles to make sure you drink your couple liters of water a day, this is plastic, and when you clean it, this is the sort of thing that sort of gets back ingested. Yes. But there's these options, if we don't want glass, to go with the metal bottle, which is the one you've got on your yeah, desk. Yeah, spot on. Um, which we can overcome and avoid these risks. And so, it is the awareness factor. You know, I don't know how long it'll take for manufacturers to get back with glass bottles, but you know, the amount of filtered water and clean water in most uh, first of all places these days is that we can put them in these bottles and have refillable yes I mean even at our soccer club now we've got a drink water tap and I take my bottle and just fill it up because I don't want to buy another plastic bottle out of the canteen but when you hear about all the chemicals that come out of that yeah there's some real easy fixes and wins here yeah, so and that's only 24 hours in the bottle that study was done so a great quote from the researcher at the end he says we care so much about low levels of pesticides in our drinking water but when mm. we pour water in a container to drink from, we unflinchingly add hundreds or thousands of substances to the water ourselves. Although we cannot say whether these substances in these reusable bottles will affect our health, he says, I'll be using a glass or quality stainless steel bottle in the future. And you that, know, that's the pretty, irony, exactly. It? The, right. the irony is there in that terms of, you know, we're worried about yep. the quality of water, is it filtered, you know, is it, where's it come from? And yet we're putting it in plastic and yep. not realizing what we're doing to ourselves. So an interesting sideline on this field, something that obviously we're yeah. passionate about is plastic free wet wipes. You draw some similarities here in terms of, you know, in a typical wet wipe packet, you've got a plastic wipe. Yep surrounded by the liquid is 75 percent of the total pack um, which is predominantly water water, and then we're rubbing that on our skin or our face and again you know what is actually leach that's been sitting probably in that most of it's imported so that's been sitting in that pack for three months six months 12 months more what's actually leaching out of that 
onto our skin. Well, don't, Who steal, knows? don't steal the thunder because we've got a future episode on that. We've got an independent laboratory study happening as we speak on baby wipes and the amount of plastic that comes out of that. And so we're going to share that with you all. But that'll be a great segue into this. Yeah. If you'd like to join in on the conversation, please do so. Drop us a line, drop some comments, share this on where you can. Glass, metal, avoid the plastic and, long and add longevity to your life. Until the next episode of It Starts With Plastic Free, we'll see you then.